good day. Today, I'll be explaining all I know about the Bulinox Futures Funding Prop Firm. I have been a funded trader with Bulinox for quite some time and have been keeping track of its changes over the past two years. Bulinox's unique selling point is that it is a jack of all trades. I would place it among the mid upper tier of Futures Prop Firm right now. It is not the best in all aspects, nor does it excel in any direction but it is in the better part of prop firms in terms of rules, withdrawals, and types of accounts offered. While many prop firms tend to offer one type of account, such as an intraday trailing drawdown account, or maybe an end-of-day uh, drawdown account, Bulinox offers two types. The option one, which is the intraday trailing drawdown account, and option two, which is the end-of-day trailing drawdown account. In comparison against um, more famous prop firms out there, you can say that option 1 is similar to Apex Trader Funding, whereas option 2 is similar to Topstat. Bullinox offers a wide range of account sizes, from the smallest account at 10k up to the largest account at 250k. Here are the numbers of contracts available to trade for each account and the profit target and the drawdown. Or you can also visit my dashboard to have a full comparison view of the futures prop firm and also the discounts available. The qualifying account rules are quite minimal, making it easier to pass. You must trade at least five trading days, which is one of the shortest trading times required. All the positions must be closed by 3.59 p.m. CST or 4.59 p.m. EST. The most importantly, you must not hit the maximum drawdown for either option 1 or option 2 accounts. The reset fee is $78 for all accounts. You can have unlimited qualifying accounts. The main difference between option 1 and option 2 accounts is that the option 1 account is a no scaling account with trailing drawdown, while option two is an end of day account with a scaling plan and daily loss limit. I'm referring to the Bulinox Help Center for a better explanation between the option one and option two accounts. So for option one, the trailing drawdown will always follow the current balance, which is equal to your profit. The drawdown is recorded in real time during the trading day and includes commission. Whereas for option two, the end of day drawdown is updated at the end of the trading day during your qualification as well as in the master account. The end of day drawdown will only take into account when the profit is made at the end of the trading day. It is updated when your account balance reaches a new high at the end of the trading day which means the, the trailing drawdown will always follow the balance at the end of the day. Personally, I feel like option one is more suitable for traders who have a scalping type of trading style, whereas option two are more suitable for those who tend to hold their position longer for higher risk-reward ratio. Additionally, for option two, there is a dynamic scaling plan where your buying power is determined by the cash on hand value. As the balance in your account increases or decreases, you can trade more or fewer contracts. The withdrawal amount could affect the numbers and your total number of contracts available to trade. For example, for my usual 50k end of day account, in between 0 to 1500 profit, I could trade a maximum of two contracts. That is two mini contracts or 20 micros. Between 1500 to 4000, I can trade a maximum of four mini contracts. And for 4000 and above, I can trade the maximum, which is seven contracts. So for those who like to trade seven contracts um, right from the get-go, option one might be a better approach as there is no limitation for that one. Also, for the end of day account, there is a smaller daily loss limit, which is the max amount you can lose per day. 
after you have reached the profit target, you will only need to pay a one-time activation fee to activate the master account. The master account given by Bilinox is a simulated account. That's why you only need to pay a one-time activation fee. And you do not need to pay a monthly professional exchange data fees like other prop firms, unless you register as a professional with Brilliant When you pay for the one-time activation fee, you are also requested to sign an agreement with Brilliant Here, I will scroll down over this slowly so that you can pause the video if you want to have a read on the contracts. Essentially, this contract is also available on the web. Here are the master account rules. The rules are essentially the same as the qualifying account rules, except there is no option to reset the account. You just have to avoid hitting the drawdown while trading. The trailing or end of day drawdown stops moving when they reaches the initial starting balance. What I mean by this is like, let's say for the 50K account, if it reaches a profit of 52,500, which is a 50k here plus 2,500, the trailing drawdown amount will stop at 50k and it won't move after that. So, any profit or losses after that, your drawdown will always remain at 50,000. There is also a 40% consistency rule and you can trade up to 11 master accounts with Bullinox. So, when should you buy these accounts with Bullinox? I always believe that the best option to buy them is at a discount because after all, you are just using this platform to gain leverage. So, you might as well get them as cheap as possible. There are four types of pro promotions that Bullinox offers. The first one is what I will always call the one up Apex option. So basically, whenever Apex come up with a discount, Bullinox will try to one up it. Like let's say Apex is offering 71% right now for the month of January. Then Bullinox will try to one up it by offering a 72% discount. This is typically reserved only for option 1 accounts because Apex is after all just an intraday trading drawdown account. The second type of discount is what I call the tier 1 red news flash sale. On high volatility tier 1 red news like FOMC, NFP and CPI, the volatility is very high during those days and traders usually lose their accounts during this period. So the promotion that come here is a flash sale, meaning they only last for one day. If you ever saw me writing a YouTube post about a flash sale, you might as well get it as soon as possible because these discounts only last for a day. The discount is usually offered only for option one, but sometimes they do offer it for option two. And I tend to find them to be the best available discounts if you are interested in option one. And here's another plug for why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get the notification post. The third one is the end of month sale, which is the type of discounts that I always look forward to. It is from the 20th 
around the 20th onwards until the end of the month. And best of all, they usually offer discounts for both option 1 and option 2 accounts. If you are interested in option 1 account, you can wait for maybe the tier 1 brand new flash sale or maybe the 1UP Apex discount if the offer is better. But usually for the end of day accounts, the end of month sale is the best discounts available. So I will usually go for the end of month sale to get my option 2 account. The fourth type of promo is the basic affiliate discounts at 40%. For this one, any affiliates of Bulinox will have it. But I do not recommend this at all because you should aim for any of the other free discount windows available. However, the basic affiliate promotion is available and you just have to ask for it. When it comes to withdrawals, you need to do it in cycles. Meaning, in your first withdrawal until your third withdrawal, you need to trade at least 10 trading days before you can request for a withdrawal. After the third payment cycle, there is no limit thereafter from the fourth withdrawal, meaning you do not have any limits to the number of trading days before you can request for the next payment. Usual way I meet the 10 days trading, the 10 trading days requirement is usually by the one micro trick, as long as you stick within the 40% consistency rule. Also, for the withdrawals, you cannot withdraw below the safety threshold, which is your initial account starting amount plus the drawdown. And for each withdrawal in cycle one, you can have a minimum withdrawal of a thousand and a maximum amount of withdrawal as indicated by the amount over here. Withdrawals are processed once a week and every Wednesday. However, you must request the withdrawal by the end of day on Friday before 11.59 p.m. EST, the week prior. This means that any request made prior to that Friday will only be processed on the following Wednesday. For the first 10K, 100% of the profit goes to you, while after 10K, 90% goes to you, and 10% of the split is going to Bulinox. There are a few options for withdrawal, with the most popular one being the SDH and the wire transfer or PayPal. As for Dell or crypto, there are limitations in terms of withdrawal. Bulinox allows you to have up to 11 master accounts. However, unlike before, when you can activate all 11 accounts at once, you now must have the previous master account be above the account start and draw down before you can activate the next one. However, because of the complaints by the traders, they have now implemented the rule of three as well. What I mean by this is Bulinox allows you to have up to three accounts activated at once before needing any of the previous account to be above the safety threshold before you can activate the next three. For example, if you want to activate master account number four, you must first get master account number one to be above the safety threshold. The same goes for account number five. You need to get master account number two above the safety threshold first. It works in sets of three. The following are the frequently asked questions regarding Bulinox that I could think of. Unfortunately, Bulinox is a rhythmic only trading platform. There is no trade over options available right now. You also cannot switch between option 1 and option 2. However, there is a caveat for this. I did in the past contact customer service immediately to change the account from option 1 to option 2. But in my case, I use a discount applicable for both option 1 and option 2. So the purchase price 
does not differ. And I was truly mistaken in selecting the option one account. I raised the request to help desk immediately after purchasing and I did not make any trades yet on that particular account. Here I will elaborate more on the special rules regarding the master account. So for the 40% consistency rule, this just means that within the period between your initial withdrawal and your next withdrawal, you cannot have any one day with a profit above 40% of the total profit. If you are consistently earning profit every day, this should not impact you at all as 40% is quite lenient. There are also no flipping rules. So you can trade with just one micro to get your trading days counted. Trading on Bulinos is actually a Steam account instead of a live funded account. However, once you are above a certain level of withdrawal, Bulinos can ask you if you would like to trade with their own live uh, funded accounts with partners. Copy trading is allowed across all the 11 master accounts and the qualifying accounts as well. However, you cannot do inverse trading between the master accounts. What I mean by this is you cannot long in one account but short the same instrument in another account. There is also a 5-day account inactivity rule, but this is quite easy to get rid of. Usually, I just trade like one micro every 5 days if I do not trade for those 5 days. So, let's say if you do not want to trade with Bulanox anymore and you would like to withdraw everything, yes, you can withdraw everything, including the safety threshold, when you close your account. But the percentage of withdrawals is based on your trading days. This is the passage that I took out from the contract. The traders shall receive 20% of net safety threshold reserved for accounts traded under 45 active trading days. 50% of net safety reserved for accounts traded 46 to 100 active trading days. And 80% of net safety reserved for accounts traded over 100 active trading days. If you are above 140 active trading days, you can receive 100% of the net safety reserve. And last of all, I would like to cover on the customer service. Actually, I really do like Bulldog's customer service in that they do try to help you as much as possible. However, I do notice a decline in the level of customer service. As Brilliant gets more popular over the year, the time it takes for the customer service to get back to me is actually lengthened. In the past, I would get a reply from the customer service within half an hour on a working day, whereas now I might need to wait for a few hours before I get a reply. So I would not be raving much about the timeliness of the customer service. And that is all I have for, for Bulinox. If there is anything else missing that I did not cover, please do let me know in the comments so that I could address them. I could have forgotten about this and I could use this point to cover in maybe other prop firms. So if you like the information I have given here, do remember to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.